Congrats to Nick Richards. The 611 Center is up for the Kareem Abdul Jabbar Award, which goes to the best center. Now, there are 20 on that preseason list. Our Alan Cutler also makes our preseason list. He's at Rupp talking about the blue white scrimmage tonight at 7 o'clock. Keith, take a look at the bench. We know Vanderbilt can't play with a bad foot. Jamal Baker has had a bad knee. We have no official word, but if you're sitting on the bench and you're not warming up, we're going to guess the odds are you don't have to be a genius that the young man who says he's the best shooter on the team is also not going to play tonight. But no official word. Look, we all know that Cal is a man of many personalities. He's driven as a coach. He's driven to drive his players to limits that they didn't know he has. Now, if you're a new player, you get warned by the other players. Don't listen to the tone of Cal's voice. Listen to the message because there's a reason why he's a Hall of Fame coach. Now, to Hamadou Diallo, he sat out the second semester, as you know, last year, and he got to see all the sides of Cal. This group so far hasn't seen that last side of Cal. Diallo hopes that doesn't happen, but the odds are overwhelming that at some point in time this year, the loud Cal, it's going to happen. Sometimes when he's screaming, he's not mad. He's just trying to get a point across. I mean, I don't think any of these guys really have seen Coach Mad yet. So that's just <laughs> that a, a good thing. That's a good thing, definitely. I don't think nobody wants to see that side of him. But. How often have you seen that side? Uh, a couple times last year. I mean, I was here at the really, at the end when it really counted. So any little thing could really turn that switch on. So I mean, I mean, yeah, definitely just staring the guys when I mean, when coach is talking and just through little things and just always trying to boost their confidence because Cal stays on top of guys and he wants to see who's going to let go of the rope. And if you let go of the rope. That's Cal's way of finding out you can handle the pressure, and he's trying to figure out who can handle the pressure. Blue White tonight at 7. Keith, back to you. All right, it's also last week of the high school football, next to last week of the high school football season. A big matchup tonight, Casey County at Corbin for our game of the week. Kyle Scott is there with a preview. The Corbin Red Hounds are looking for their fourth consecutive district title, and standing in their way is the only undefeated team in 3A, Casey County. The 8-0 Rebels are off to their best start in school history, coming off their best season in school history, where they went 10-2, making it to the third round of the playoffs. Now, it's worth noting, those two losses came to Corbin. I just talked to Casey County head coach Steve Stonebreaker, who's done an amazing job for the Rebels, and he told me and confirmed that Corbin, or excuse me, Casey County has never beat Corbin. I'm Kyle Scott and Corbin for the Elliott 16 High School Sports Zone Game of the Week. More news after the break.